Lowriding means the world to me. When you build a custom car, you build it from within what you vision from your heart, from your mind, from your creativity. It doesn't have to be $100, $1,000, or $10,000. It's to your ability. I have a 2016 Harley-Davidson Street Glide. It's full customized from front to back. The bike has full custom air ride suspension, custom 21-inch wheel with fat spoke with white wall. It's a Harley-Davidson vivid black, pinstriping around the rim, silver leafing on the fenders, all the way throughout the follow the body lines. It also has a LED light system attached to the bottom side of the bike. Uh, the custom seat built by Bad Dad Back East and also the customer fenders and bags. My style is simple, clean. Uh, I wanted to portray that in my bike to fit the low rider style with the striping, the paint, and the lowered look and the white wall with the wires. I think the favorite part of my bike is that back fat fender that drops all the way down to the ground and the big side bags. This is actually my third bike. Uh, my first two were street bikes. This is my first Harley Davidson. I've had plenty of cars over the years, uh, starting with my mini truck in the early 80s. And then it jumped into some of the Impalas and Cadillacs. I had an 82 Caddy Coupe that was fully candy painted uh, under carriage back in 90s. And then it led into some of the Impalas, uh, my 62 Chevy and various hoppers along the way. We try to ride the bike as much as possible, at least two, three times a month. Taking the bike out on the open road, having that freedom and the wind just blowing in your face and just being out there, you zone in on that road ahead of you, that open and welcome feeling of the road. I do enjoy riding the bike, but I love it even more so because I get to enjoy it with my fiance. Uh, not only does she ride a Harley, but she rides her own Harley. And as a couple, it makes that outing or that cruise just so much more fun because it's you're not just by yourself there's there's two of us one of our favorite rides together as a couple is we we try to explore route 66 we want to drive the whole route eventually but as far as we've gotten right now it's up to kingman arizona and it's just one of the best feelings when you're you love your life or your fiance is just uh, right there next to you and you look over she's on her bike and as we pull up to the destinations or our spots or our stops it's just it's cool that she's there with me and you're not by yourself. Low riding means the world to me. I did not grow up into it. I learned it as I went. I would just look at it and have that vision, like I can do that, make it better or make it look cool. And then it just kind of led into to the bigger stuff like my buddy's truck or my truck or stuff like that. As a kid, I grew up military. Um, we moved a lot. I was actually born in Kingston, New York and my dad was transferred several times. We ended up in a city called Lemoor, California, and then he was transferred in to March Air Force Base. You know, he wasn't mechanically inclined or a mechanic. He was actually Lieutenant Colonel Air Force anesthesiologist. My mom was a stay-at-home mom till we got to be teenagers. Then she went to go work for the credit union on the base. I, I do have a brother and a sister, so I had a good upbringing. But my dad was always on call, so he's always working. So we actually had two houses when I was a kid. So my parents really, they were there, but they were always at the other house. I would always tinker with something, taking apart my little Hot Wheel cars and changing the wheels and trying to make different bodies fit. And it wouldn't fit, so we'd cut them. I did get an allowance, you know, doing yard work and all that good stuff. So as I got into cars, I I'd take that allowance and I would fix up my truck, my mini truck, to the best of my ability within my financial means at that time. It just kind of evolved into something I did as a hobby in my mom's garage. So knowing that I wanted more to actually fix up my truck, I would start to do side jobs. It wasn't for business back then, it was actually for just a friend of a friend. And we would just do things to help each other fix up our mini trucks. Well, word spread that I could you know, do this and do that. Well, I would do it for like $20, $30, you know, lower my truck, lower his truck, being able to do what they wanted me to do came very easy and natural to me, and it kind of just led from there. Your parents always have the best 
thought in mind for you, looking out for you for your future. My parents always thought that it wasn't always the best choice for me to become a mechanic and open my own business. Better yet, they wanted me to follow my dad's footsteps and join the military, which is a great thing for someone who's into that. But to me, working on cars and working with my hands and being a mechanic and tinkering, I felt more comfortable doing that more than actually going to work for somebody. And that's how it all started. It, it led from trading for little jobs to charging for little jobs till opening my own shop in 1989. Hoppo's is located in Southern California. This is our 30th year anniversary. We are known for our creative hydraulic and air suspension setups and product that we do sell all over the world. We ship daily to Mexico, Saudi Arabia, to Canada, to Japan, and we are the biggest in the United States. The early days of Hoppo's was honestly, was, was just me. You know, I had a, a thousand square foot shop, no employees. I had to do everything just with hand tools. We came up with Hoppo's because of the cars, the hopping and all that kind of good stuff that comes along with low riding. To set your name in the low rider market, you gotta show that you could be a hopper and produce cars that do hop, which I have done that and then some. So Hoppo's stuck to us because of the cars and making the cars hop. We have worked on several cars that have graced the pages of the magazine that have taken low rider car of the year. Double Trouble, the current low rider car of the year. Also La Reina, the three-time truck of the year, and also El Rey, three-time car of the year. On Double Trouble, we are fortunate enough to be able to design, build, and create this one-of-a-kind, one-off hydraulic setup, and also all the full-frame chassis customizing was done by us here at the shop. On El Rey, we were able to do his setup. He was one of our first custom cars in that caliber of class. The setup that we designed for him was a two-pump gravity-fed system that fit that car's creativity and style. Low riding in general sometimes carries a bad rap. I'm a business owner, a self-taught entrepreneur, deep in the low rider industry, and I am not by far a troublemaker, and neither are our customers. Building a car takes a lot of time, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and also a lot of money. You don't have time to be out there running amok, being a troublemaker. Low riders themselves that have the cars are too busy fixing up cars to even be messing with stuff like that. Lowriders come from every walk of life. You could be a blue collar worker, a CEO of a company. You could be from a, a different part of the world or here in the United States. Doesn't matter the color of your skin or your ethnic background. I myself am not Hispanic, I'm Filipino. It's grown to hit all of the world itself. I mean, there's, there's customers in Alaska asking for product. The cars themselves and product and the culture is what brings everybody together. If you do what you love, it doesn't feel like work. For me, coming to work every day, I love it. The shop has evolved from my mom's garage till today. And it's just a great feeling knowing that we're still in this industry. You know, my oldest son's only 29. He can take it and run with it for another 30 years. Don't be afraid to go out there and grab that dream. Even though it's not what people suggest and think that you should do for a living, don't be afraid to try something. You need to go with, with what you feel inside your passion. If being your own boss is was, was something you want to do and open your own company or shop, go for it. You can do it. Just put your mind to it. My name is Art Twasson. I'm the owner of Hoppo's Custom Suspension Works, and I'm a lowrider role model.